in this segment, we're going to start using Easy Edit software. And Easy Edit software is part of the suite that comes with the Digitizer program. And up till now, we've been focusing on the Easy Design program and its object based embroidery tools and functions. And really, the majority of the DVD focuses around Easy Design because it's really the bulk of the functions of the digitizing software are found in the Easy Design program. And remember the difference between Easy Design and Easy Edit is that Easy Design is object based embroidery and Easy Edit is stitch based embroidery. And so there are a few good reasons why we may want to not deal with objects and specifically deal with stitches. And so I'm going to pop over to Easy Edit and take a look at that. Now, before I do, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to open up um, one of my embroidery designs so that I have something on my screen. And then we'll use the tool at the top of our um, workspace. We have a switch to Easy Edit. And when I click on this, first of all, it asks me if I want to save my design. And it's going to save it as a Jeff. And that's because if I want to edit this design in Easy Edit, it needs to be a stitch file, not a Jan file. Jan, remember, Jan files are about objects. Jeff files are about stitches. So we're going to save this basket design as a stitch file. And when I hit save, it'll go ahead and save the design. And then it actually closes my um, workspace. And then it begins to start up the Easy Edit workspace. So this takes a moment. Uh, but not too long. And then once this opens up, we'll be ready to get started in, in editing. Okay, so now that Easy Edit has opened up, we will be ready to start using the software. Now, obviously, it looks very similar to Easy Design. So I think a lot of the things that you'll find on your screen you're already familiar with. So we have drop down menus, and we have tools on our toolbars. And so I'll just review sort of what you see. So here you've got open, save, print, print preview, cut, copy, and paste. You've got your selection of your embroidery machine. You've got um, send to machine, write to card. You can open up your design gallery from here. You've got an undo, redo. You've got a stop button. And switch back to using easy design. Here you've got your zoom in, zoom out, and what percentage are you currently zoomed in. You've got Visualizer as one of your viewing modes. Um, you can have, this will display your needle points on and off, so you can turn on the needle points. This is your grid on, off, and your embroidery hoop on, off. And of course, the embroidery hoop selection. You can have an overview window. You can change your um, units of measurement from metric to imperial. Now these are your traveling tools, and they're very similar to the traveling tools in Easy Design except instead of being able to travel by object, so we still have jump start end of design, we've still got jump by color, but now we have jump by 100 stitches, 10 stitches, or one stitch. So it's a little bit different than it was in easy design, but still very similar. And of course, we have a slow redraw tool. Now down at the bottom, we have a select tool, poly select. We have a, um, a button to turn on stitch mode. We have another button to split block. And then we have flip vertically, flip horizontally, rotate, and rotate your hoop. And of course, you have your machine monitor as well. If you want to be able to um, monitor your embroidery machines, you can do that from Easy Edit as well. So that's the workspace for Easy Edit. Now, like I'd said before, Easy Edit is stitch based embroidery. And as an example, um, this design is 10,984 stitches. And if I was to take my select tool and just drag a box around the entire design, I would select all of the stitches in that design. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring them over in my embroidery hoop, and then I'm going to increase their size. So here I'm making it larger, larger. And so here we are basically 135% larger. I'm going to hit let go. It's increased the design by 100. It's now 135% of the original. But yet the number of stitches is exactly the same, 10,986. So the point is, if you make a size change to a design in Easy Edit, it does not process or calculate new stitches. It simply enlarges the existing stitches. So for example, if you had an embroidery design that you had purchased and you felt that it was 
too many stitches and you were unhappy with the density, well, in Easy Edit, you could just simply take the design, enlarge it in size, and then save it, and it would have the same number of stitches but be covering a larger area. Therefore, it's like decreasing the density. So that's just one example of why you might want to use Easy Edit. Um, one of the functions of Easy Edit is that you actually have the ability to work on and I guess edit, add, or delete, or move the actual embroidery stitches. And so just as an example, um, first of all, I can use my traveling tools to travel to a specific stitch. So just like an easy design, if I choose jump start and a design, and then I jump backwards, takes me to the beginning, jump forwards, takes me to the end. Now I also have the ability, I'll go back to the beginning, to jump by color, so I can jump forward to the colors of the, my design, and it shows me how it sews. Now if I go back to the start again, and this time instead of going forward by color, I'll go forward by 100 stitches. So if I click, it's moved 100 stitches. Click again, it's moved another 100. And every time I click, it moves 100 stitches. And so you can see here that um, very similar to easy design, whatever is um, in color, the needle has already passed. It's been stitched. Whatever is still black has yet to be stitched. That's the kind of concept. And you can see here, that's exactly where my needle is. It's sitting on this needle point right here. And so I can use this to travel through 100 stitches at a time. I can go 10 stitches at a time. And I can even go one stitch at a time. So it'll literally just move, if I zoom in closely over top of this area, it will literally just move one stitch at a time. And just so you know, I can also use the arrows on my keyboard. So for example, if I push the right arrow, I'll move one stitch at a time. So I'm no longer using the traveling tools. I'm just using the, the um, arrows on my keyboard to move the needle. So here's my needle sitting right there. And so now let's say, for example, we wanted to, I don't know, we could move this stitch, we could delete this stitch, we could insert a new stitch, um, and that's all done by going into stitch mode. So when I turn on stitch mode, it basically says to the machine, I'm going to work on the stitches. And so for example, if I click and drag, I can move this stitch to a new location. And let's see, what else can I do? I could delete the stitch. So for example, if I use the delete key on my keyboard, I can delete the stitch. If I right click, maybe I'll just travel forward to the next edge piece. So there's my needle sitting right there. If I right click, I insert new stitches. And so every time I right click, I get a new stitch. So it's almost like just totally hand digitizing. And again, I just move right along with my needle. So that's the idea. And when you're in stitch mode, you can actually switch to a stitch by simply clicking on it. So if I zoom out and said, well, I want to pick this stitch right here. Everything before it is black, or sorry, everything before it is, is colored. Everything that has yet to be sewn is black. So why don't I zoom in right over there? So for example, if you wanted to add something here, I don't know what you would want to add, but you could right click and digitize a little shape. Who knows what you're trying to add, but the idea is you have the ability to either add or delete the stitches. So in your stitch mode and you select on a stitch like this, you can go function delete and it will delete it. Now, sorry, if I go backwards, there, I can delete all of the stitches that I just made by clicking on the delete key on my keyboard. So you have the ability to add and delete stitches. Now perhaps I should try and find a more a better example. Um, let's just, I'm just trying to look for an example of why we might want to add some stitches. I'm going to travel to the end of the design and say, okay, imagine, put visualizer on, imagine sewing this design and the basket handle is here and then this blue flower comes over here and what if the stitches of this blue flower were kind of grabbing at these stitches and creating a small gap? Okay, so that's our potential problem. 
And so imagine wanting to edit the stitches to fix that. So we open up the design, we go to stitch mode. I'm gonna turn the visualizer off, it's easier to do when it's in, and I'm gonna to go to stitch mode, and I'm gonna try and select one of the stitches right on this underlay. Let's see, stitch mode. I can click on that outline. So I got close, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to travel backwards 10 stitches at a time until I get to the underlay. So I'm trying to get to a specific place. So there, here I come now. So I've passed where I want to be, so I'm going to go forward, 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 forward. With this. I'm now using the arrow on my keyboard. So I have arrived right here where I wanted to be, and now I'm going to insert some stitches. So I'll insert some sort of special little zigzag underlays just manually with the specific purpose of stabilizing that part of the design so that now if I jump back to the end of the design and take a real close look here, my point was I added, I inserted these little stitches as part of the underlay, so right as it was doing the edge run underlay, it stops, does a little ticka 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 ticka, and then it keeps on going. And the concept is that that little additional underlay will, if these stitches grab at my handle of my basket and create any sort of a little gap there, those little stitches that I just created will fill in the gap, so you won't have anything like a gap. And that's just, it's difficult because, like I said, there's really most of the functionality of using digitizer comes from easy design and there's very few specific reasons why we need to edit the actual stitches but that's what the whole point of easy edit is is to edit stitches um, another example of using easy edit is called split block and so for example I'm gonna try and select an area here so we'll select an area and I'm just going to bring it over. Now let's say for one, for whatever reason you wanted to use part of this design. Maybe you wanted the basket but you did not want to have the handle. Don't ask me why you want that. But maybe that's something you want. So now we're going to go ahead and try and accomplish that. So the idea is, see this is a whole block of stitches and I guess I would have, there's more than one way to do everything in life. Um, if I wanted to edit by stitches I could drag a box and therefore, let's see if I turn the 3D off. Okay, and then we'll um, go to stitch mode and click and drag a box to select all of those stitches and then delete on my keyboard and I can delete them. But what if I didn't wanna split them? What if I wanted to use them at a different time? So I don't wanna delete them. So on, on the, the reason, I'm trying to look for a reason to use split block here. So what I'll do is I'll select one of the stitches in there and I'm going to travel backwards in the scope of this design and I'll just travel backwards and so this is the underlay so the idea is what if I wanted to split oh I guess I wanted to split this sorry I want to split it at the end of this handle so what I'm trying to do is separate the handle so I would travel let's say right to that needle point there so right now, I've moved my needle inside of a block of stitches. Part of this block is the fill, part of this block is the handle. And I'm right here now. And if I choose this button here, split block, now, if you take a look, I will actually have this block and this block. So they become something that you could use independent of each other. So yeah, that's the option for splitting a block of embroidery Anyway, as you can see, um, I'm grasping to find really great user reasons to edit stitches, but there are some. And I think that probably the most obvious one that I can think of is simply to change the size of a design, bigger or smaller, and not have any new stitches generated. Because, of course, in easy design, if you open a design and then increase its size, the software generates all new stitches based upon those objects and so it'll have the it maintains the density so i quite often use easy edit to simply open up a design and make it slightly larger or slightly smaller and have all of the stitch the exact stitches maintained as they were before i opened it up so that's a little bit about using easy edit and so again the concept is 
editing stitches. And you, you know, I am. I brought this design over from Easy Design, but you can open Design um, Direct into in your Easy Edit software. So as long as you have a Jeff file in your for in your computer, you can go ahead and select it. So I guess for example, I've got a design of a doll here. It looks like it's actually um, I must have used something to split this design so it's got like part one and part two but the point is I could open up this design so I don't have to start an easy design is what I'm trying to say you can go to easy edit open up a Jeff file and start immediately editing the stitches of your design so yeah that's a small segment about um, how you can use easy edit to select stitches edit stitches delete stitches insert stitches and resize your designs and maintain the exact same stitching. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the um, segment about easy design.